And here are the live pictures uh, from Copenhagen. The new king is about to address the Danish people from the balcony of the palace. Let's listen in. You're watching pictures straight from Copenhagen in Denmark, the balcony of Christiansborg Palace for the proclamation of the new king of Denmark, King Frederick X. We've been hearing the prime minister of Denmark, Mette Frederiksen, who has just been announcing his proclamation. We are waiting for the king himself to speak. And we can hear the cheering of crowds gathered there as we have seen thousands and thousands of people gathered uh, on the streets of Copenhagen between the palaces where first uh, the ex-queen Margrethe, who of course still retains her title, but who abdicated earlier on uh, to hand over the reins to her firstborn son, King Frederick X. We are hearing from the Danish Prime Minister, Mette Frederiksen, announcing the new Danish king. We are expecting him to speak. Let me just bring in royal biographer Ian Lloyd. And Ian, just talk us through, I guess, the choreography of this, because this is very different, for example, to what we saw for the coronation of Prince Charles. So what exactly is going on right now? Well, this is the Danish version of a coronation, if you like. Uh, the moment he succeeded, was his mother, was when Queen Margaret signed her abdication. That's when he became king. Yeah. This is his proclamation, which, if you like, is the coronation. And I have to say, and let me just stop you there, we're just seeing pictures of the crowd. I mean, look at that, you know, enthusiastic, you know, thousands and thousands of people. I have to say, when you look at the crowd, all sorts of different ages as well, and worth reminding um, our public, uh, the viewers, that Queen Margaret was uh, was queen for 52 years. Let's listen in again. <laughs> they were shouting hurrah, hurrah for the new king. Let's listen in. His majesty, Dronning Margrethe II, has regeared Denmark in 52 years. Gennem et halvt århundrede er hun fuldt med tiden med vores fælles arv som afsæt. Til altid vil hun blive husket som en regent ud over det sædvanlige. Min mor har som få formået at gå i et med sit kongerige. I dag går tronen videre. Mit håb er at blive en samlende konge af i morgen. Ja. 
Det er en opgave, jeg har nærmet mig hele mit liv. Det er et ansvar, jeg tager på mig med respekt. So that is uh, the newly proclaimed the king of Denmark there, King Frederick X, uh, addressing thousands of people gathered there, and of course one presumes the millions of Danes uh, watching from their TV screens as he is proclaimed uh, king. He is on the balcony of Christianborg uh, Palace, uh, usually where the prime minister resides as well, and that is exactly who we'll see next to him, the Danish prime minister. Mette Frederiksen, uh, the Queen of uh, Denmark, abdicated officially and handed over the reins to him. About an hour ago, we saw her uh, sign over uh, powers, and we are now hearing the King speak. And you can see the crowds there, everyone waving Danish flags. Very popular. There had been worries, apparently, when uh, when the Queen announced her abdication, the royal household was worried that perhaps... And there is the new Queen, Queen Mary, the new Queen of Denmark. Yeah. And let me uh, bring in royal biographer who was in the studio with me, Ian Lloyd. Ian, lots to talk about, but just looking at that picture there, a very, I guess, a modern couple. You know, they're not that young, they're in their 50s, but, but a new, uh, modern and young uh, face of uh, the monarchy, the king and his crew. Absolutely, yes, because Denmark, like Britain, 100 years ago, royalty would only marry royalty. Um, now we've got uh, royalty marrying, um, if you like, commoners, people who are not uh, aristocratic, not uh, royal. And we've got there, and we will have with Kate Middleton in, Kate Duchess, uh, the Princess of Wales, um, the rise of the middle class monarchy, mm. if you like that uh, ordinary people, uh, her father, uh, Mary's father was a maths professor, I believe, um, somebody from a, a conventional, ordinary background who injects this new life into the monarchy. I, I suppose the thing to say about Mary, though, uh, not only sort of, the, you know, not of aristocratic background, but foreign. Um, you know, Australian. she's Australian, yeah. uh, came to Denmark, learned Danish quite quickly, speaks it fluently, a bit of an accent, but you know, not the easiest language uh, to learn. Obviously in the UK we had it as well with Meghan Markle being uh, American, but I suppose here you have the Queen, heir to the throne, and I think all of the daughters-in-law, especially there's one that's an ex-daughter-in-law, I think they were all uh, non-Danish, so a lot of firsts, and I guess very much we can see there uh, the whole balcony, everyone, uh, the members of the royal family. It's very, it's very difficult. I mean, in, in Britain, um, Prince Philip, um, it was very difficult for him to marry the future Elizabeth II. There was an opinion poll at the time, and people said, why can't she marry an Englishman? When Prince Albert married Victoria, again, there was a lot of controversy. And recently, Meghan Markle, um, it wasn't necessarily, I don't believe, the race card with Meghan. I do think it was the fact that she was American. Uh, uh, can put people off, but I think... Uh, she, uh, Mary's Australian and it's uh, been a very popular move. She learnt um, Danish quite quickly apparently and is very proficient and she's very, very good at giving off-the-cuff speeches, which is again yes. a, a they're, they're just They're just stepping away from the balcony now, it's just the king and before he was joined, of course, uh, by his wife and their four children, Christian, Isabella, Vincent and Josephine, uh, all of them teenagers, of course, I believe that they married in around 2003 or certainly got officially engaged, so they've been together uh, for more than 20 years. So there he is, King Frederick X, uh, the new uh, king of Denmark. 